Don't let your hidden bias dictate the way you look at the charts. Look at the charts with an open mind and make sure the market proves to you what it wants to do. And we'll go to the charts. Look at Bitcoin, NASDAQ, and the S&P. Let me take you to this week's Ninja Trader Charting Edge. Pulled up Bitcoin here on the daily. Same old, same old. 20 period, three standard deviation Bollinger Bands. Red is the 10 day simple moving average. 20 day in the gold, 50 day in the green, 100 day in that pink colored moving average. Everybody's talking about Bitcoin. When's it going to stop? We never know when a market's going to stop rallying. And right now you see it's breaking out to all time highs. And what do I always say? When the market's going up and the mouth of the Bollinger Band is open and we're hugging above the 10 day moving average near the top Bollinger Band, the market is in a powerful bullish trend. Well above that previous resistance, which as you know, I've talked about many times in the past, those peaks in the Bollinger Bands are resistance. And you can see we're just grinding up above, holding above the 10 day moving average and well above the 50, 10, 20, 100 day moving averages. How do we know this trend will stop? Because a lot of people are saying, well, I'm long Bitcoin, but I don't know where to get out. I always say, let the market prove to you to get in and let the market prove to you to get out. What do I look for? Bollinger bands start to come back in, similar to what we saw here. They start to form those peaks. We start to get back below the 10 day moving average. That would be a trigger to me that this rally could stall. But in the meantime, this is just what I consider a full green light powerful uptrend. That's this week's Ninja Trader Charting Edge. In my intro, I talked about how not to let your hidden bias dictate the way you look at the charts. I put this tweet out the other day. Your hidden bias on the market can hurt your ability to trade with a clear mind, causing you to fight the market instead of going with it. Focus on seeing the market for what it is. Let's go back to that Bitcoin chart. As I said in the Ninja Trader Charting Edge, this is a green light, full on, bullish looking chart. I'm not in this trade right now, but there's so many Bitcoin bears out there, the Peter Schiff's of the world, that never think that Bitcoin's gonna continue to rally. And they keep calling tops. But let the market prove to you what it's going to do. You have to go into every market, every situation with a clear mind and look at it and say, what is this chart telling me? Holding above the 10 day moving average, grinding up near the top Bollinger Band? My process tells me, green light, bullish mode. Doesn't matter what I think about Bitcoin. I'm bullish Bitcoin in the big picture anyway. I always hold some Bitcoin. But for me, when I look at the chart, I can't be looking at anything but what the market is proving to me. And it's proving to me what? It's very bullish. Let's look at the NASDAQ now. Several weeks back, I was talking a lot about the NASDAQ and the S&P, waiting to see what was going to pan out. You know I was bearish the S&P and NASDAQ for a period of time. And that has since changed. Not because in my mind, I am now bullish, but because the market proved to me that it is now bullish, or at least neutral. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ here on the daily. Same indicators as always, same ones that I had in the Bitcoin daily chart. And you can see that the NASDAQ Bollinger Band started to come back in. If you remember what I said in previous Develop Your Edge videos, I said, look, it, we're going down here with the mouth of Bollinger Band open. Once we get back above the 10 day moving average and that Bollinger Band closes, I'm gonna turn neutral or bullish. Right now, the NASDAQ to me is neutral to bullish. It's not a full green light long. It's more neutral. Why? Because we're kind of boxed in here. Moving averages are bunched up. You're not seeing what you're seeing in Bitcoin where you have the mouth of the Bollinger Band open, holding above the 10 day moving average, grinding higher. You're just really in a consolidation here. So whether you're a swing trader or a day trader or a position trader, it's important to recognize the environment and let the market prove to you what it wants to do. So for me, as a swing trader and even sometime day trader in the NASDAQ, I look at it and say, it's really more of looking to buy dips on my shorter term strategy, longs only, but not super aggressive. So I always say, no one to be big, small, or not at all. Right now, to me, it's long, but small. Let's take a look at the S&P. Don't let your hidden bias dictate the way you look at the charts. As you know, I was short the S&P, had multiple short trades, got stopped out of some at the end because why? The look changed. I didn't continue to push because I was bearish the S&P. When the charts changed, I changed. Look at the charts with an open mind. Similar to the NASDAQ here. Remember when I was bearish the S&P, going down with the mouth of the Bollinger Band open 
and we were well below all of the moving averages. What changed? Bollinger Band started to come back in, got back above the 10-day moving average, started to get choppy around all the moving averages. Looks very similar to the NASDAQ right now. So it's essentially neutral, no one to be big, small or not at all. Small long S&P on dips for day trades or swing trades. It's not giving me that full green light bullish look yet, but here's what I'll be looking for. As you can see, the S&P is nearing all time highs. If we start to get up near that top Bollinger Band above that previous high, and maybe start to take out these previous Bollinger Band peaks, and we start to grind up with that 10 day moving average catching up and just looking very similar to the Bitcoin chart, that would be a full green light bullish look and no one to be big, small, not at all, big, be more aggressive. Especially if I start to get confirmation with that NASDAQ. If the NASDAQ starts to look similar to the S&P, if we do get that type of rally, that would change me from being neutral S&P and NASDAQ, neutral but bullish, to aggressive green light long. Traders, you've heard me and many of the macro traders out there lately talking about yields and yield curves. Make sure you pull up the new Treasury Micro Yield Futures at CME Group, symbols 2YY, 5YY, 10Y, and 30Y on your charts. To learn more about micro treasury yield futures, go to cmegroup.com. Final thoughts for today, traders. Remember, don't let your hidden biases get in the way of the way you're looking at the charts in the market. And a question I get all the time is, Anthony, when should I cut my losers? How do I hold winners longer? And I put this tweet out the other day. Cut your losers and let your winners ride sounds good and easy. But this as a blanket statement will hurt many traders because they'll over trade and spend a ton on commissions and fees. The focus should be learning to recognize the environment and conditions that tell you to cut your losers or hold your winners. What did I say the entire show? Don't let your hidden bias get in the way of the way you look at the markets. So many traders will hold on to losers longer. Why? Because their hidden bias gets in the way of them cutting a loser. Let the market prove to you to get out. And for the winners, everyone says, well, how do I hold winners longer? I wish I knew that answer, but what did I say today? Let the market prove to you to get in and let the market prove to you to get out. If you wanna hold winners longer, put something into your strategy to have the market prove to you to get out of that trade. If you enjoyed today's show, give us the thumbs up. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down and tell us why in the comments down below. Never miss an episode of Develop Your Edge. Hit that subscribe button. And you can send me a message on Twitter. My DMs are open, at Anthony Crudelli. Don't forget to check out Instagram, Anthony C. Crudelli. That's a wrap for today. See you next week.